Hello. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. I appreciate you all for being here. This is going to be your Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Partner August reading. Be sure to check out the All Signs that I posted on Saturday and the Divine Feminine August and Divine Masculine August that I posted yesterday as they all seem to tie into this journey somehow in some way. Because first and foremost, we must focus on ourselves. So it's really important to keep ourselves in balance and align in alignment best we can. And then we are a good match for our sacred lover. And we are good for everyone else in our life when we take care of us. That's a message that needs to come through. It's really important to take care of yourself too, not just everyone else. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into lessons, any shadows that need to be brought to the light, what's transforming and being healed, what's manifesting, those types of things. So we're just going to dig in. We have the feminine energy on this side and the masculine energy on that side. And so here we go. Let's see what lessons the feminine is working on right now, working through. Freedom. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. Oh, I love it. Divine feminine freedom. And what else? Let's see. Self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, the freedom to be yourself. The freedom to express yourself in that beautiful, sensual, goddess way that you are meant to do. Your unique gifts, your talents, stepping out of the box, being confident in yourself because you do have gifts, Divine Feminine, beautiful gifts. And you have free will to choose happiness. You have free will to choose love over fear. So the feminines are freeing themselves, feeling good, feeling confident. And that's something that spirit wants you to work on. Choosing your happiness choosing to be yourself not allowing anyone else or anything else to get in the way of that so freedom is coming wow that's beautiful what about for the masculine death i am learning that endings are merely beginnings yeah the masculines are letting the old ways die the old oh, that doesn't want to stay up there the old toxic ways die and being of service of others being more generous being more giving instead of holding on tight to their love, instead of, instead of being worried and holding on tight to their resources and their finances, uh, their time, their energy, their letting go. I feel good when I can help others. So I do feel that what's happening with the Divine Masculines is they are stepping into their power and realizing what their purpose is here. And also what I've been feeling in all, all the different readings is they're tapping into their heart space, all this green energy, realizing when they bring love into it, everything transforms and it's a beautiful new world. So I feel like the masculines are starting to feel really good about themselves and realizing that, you know, they can use their gifts and talents and resources to help others. And they really want this new beginning where they're more generous and more kind. And what about for the union? What are you learning in this union? What's going on? What's the biggest lesson in this union? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, I feel like happiness and joy with that Buddha, you know, good, good fortune, prosperity, abundance is coming to this union when you can shift your perception and see things from spirit's point of view. See things from a higher mind point of view, which is lighter. It's never heavy. It's never negative. It's never low vibrational. It's always in the light. So maybe having some fun again, right? Getting out and having some fun again. And look at the bottom. I just want to show you. I like to do the bottom of the decks for the energy here. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. You can control yourself and your reactions and your choices, but you can't control others. And accepting yourself where you're at right now, because you're perfect right where you are, and accepting your lover right where they are changes things. Past is a past. The power is in the now. Wow, these are beautiful, positive messages coming through. I really, really enjoy this. Okay, now we're going to get any shadow work. 
uh, shadows that are being brought to the light here during this time. Whenever you're listening to this is the right time. Time is an illusion. So whenever you're guided here, you're guided places for a reason. So always trust that. Trust your intuition. Okay, for the sacred divine feminine in this connection, this twin flame soulmate connection, what is some shadow work that perhaps the feminine is working on to speak more positively to him or herself with that self-esteem and free free themselves from self-imposed limitations yeah and then here's the tower so epiphanies clearing away what's not serving you realizing it's all part of the plan like you know you have to let go in order to bring new in so there's been some tower moments or there are some tower moments but there's nothing crazy going on in this particular tower card. It's more like the feminine realizing how powerful, I'm going to say she, but it could be he, but she is stepping into that divine feminine power, being confident. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of body image issues in the, in the divine feminine collective. And I will say that I'm in on that. I've had to work on that my whole life and I'm a petite woman and pretty good shape. But still, I don't know, there's something about us that we feel like we're not good enough or like we have to be perfect. But I'm going to tell you right now, Divine Feminine, no matter what shape or size or where you come from or how old you are, you're gorgeous and you're beautiful and it's time to shine that light. Give yourself the freedom to do so. Okay, so let's see what else has to do with that tower. The King of Cups. So realizations on the masculine, the masculine within you. I have been feeling a lot of uncomfortabilities of things being pushed out with that tower, uh, looking at love, you know, maybe being frustrated with how long it's taking, frustrated with the masculine. Is there something in your life that you need to break free from? See, there's that freedom. Maybe perhaps you're breaking free from a masculine that you thought was your king that isn't your king or breaking free from old ways the way you were raised the way you thought about love but this is just breaking free and rising up so the masculine within you is rising up and when that happens when you focus on the love you transform everything when you break the chains of the past you transform for yourself but also for your lover so things are changing in love getting that epiphany of I feel like who you love you know who you truly love and look at this. So the shadows, the hurt, the pain, yeah, it's something about love. It's letting go of the past, the hurts, the, the relationships that haven't worked out, third-party situations, just uh, sorrow rising up out of this energy. That's key right now. That's your freedom. Letting go of this uh, Three of Swords energy. Transforming the way that you're looking at love and looking at union. What about for the masculine? Wow, we get the Empress. So we have the Empress. Let's just look at that, the sacred divine feminine, but in the shadows. Okay, so this is, we're talking about shadow work. So this is distorted feminine, just as over here, healing the distorted masculine. Interesting. I like that though. I like that the, the uh, masculine is finally focusing on the feminine within and relationships that aren't serving them. Yeah, look at that. Things are changing. The lovers. Um transforming the way that the masculine is looking at sacred union, letting go of this toxic feminine, letting go of the old, the relationship that didn't work out, um, the old ways that they looked at the feminine, and they and it's, it's been very distorted, whether that be from their childhood because of their mother or authority figures that were around them or just a relationship that they had. I feel it could be a long-term relationship, a marriage that was very toxic and there was no love there. It's they, they want to change things. So the masculines are deciding to heal themselves because the lovers is a healing card. I want to heal and I want to be in union with my true sacred lover. So that's the decision. I want to let this old die and I want to go on my mission. You see service and mission. When twin flames come together, divine partners come together, it's for a mission, you guys. It's not just, yes, it's to enjoy the union, of course, but it's to go on a mission. It's to help humanity somehow. That's what the masculine is waking up to is the sacred union letting go of whoever they need to yeah look at that completion completion of 
a relationship, a dynamic that they thought was everything, they thought was the world, and it's not. So there's a completion here. Working through the shadows of that, of completing that. Because, you know, it, even if you know that a relationship needs to end or you know an old way needs to die, sometimes it's difficult to do so. But I feel the masculines are doing it. They're like, they're letting it go. They want new beginnings, a whole new world. I see the value in sacred union, just like the feminine is seeing the value in seeing her masculine as loving and generous and kind and rising up out of any hurt and pain of the past, letting what needs to be cleared away, setting herself free, feeling really strong and powerful. Same with the masculine. Like there's, wow, that's beautiful. And what about for the union? Oh my God, the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The three cards at the bottom of this deck for shadow work for the union is the four of wands, finding that stability and strength again. 1111, soulmate, divine partner union, seeing things in divine light finally. Instead of being foolish and being toxic, this is the transformation of the fool, ready to take the leap of faith. And this is what's the star card. Be healed. The stars align, alignment for this union, wishes coming true, dreams coming true. When you choose to see the lighter side of things and that everything happens for a reason, it's to help you learn and grow, and you allow yourself to heal and focus on stability in your own self, you attract your, your divine sacred partner for brand new beginnings to take this leap of faith. If it's a connection that you're in and you're wanting transformation, there's transformation from toxicity, distorted energies on both sides, healing from the past, realizing that you have this sacred love and taking this leap of faith into new beginnings. And if it's someone you're calling in, you're letting go of whomever and whatever you need to, to bring in this union. But I feel like when you choose to look at the lighter side and you choose happiness and joy and you focus on that in your life and open your heart space, this sacred union is coming in, healing's coming in, the stars are aligning for you to take this leap of faith. In this little bit of cards, there's so much indicating divine union and there's so many majors. The tower, the fool, the star, the empress, the lovers, the world. I mean, the masculine got all major cards. There's a lot of major things happening, right? When you let the old self die. And then you have the four of wands and the lovers and the star card. And this king of cups over there focusing on the love and lovers. I mean, it's just, um, it's beautiful. Beautiful transformation of this union. Okay, what's being healed and being brought to the light? And more information for the feminine here. What's being healed is the masculine within. There it is. The sacred, spiritual, passionate creative, take charge, masculine, the king of wands. Uh, the, the feminine is taking charge of her life, stepping into her power, making decisions, and going after things, going after creative projects, going after what she loves, feeling passion again, feeling that fire again, free to be herself. Feminine is strong. Knight of Pentacles, okay, so opportunity in the material world, an offer coming in for you feminines from this knight that has been slow and steady, taking their time, but it's stable. You see all this masculine energy in the horse is purification and freedom. So something's happening in the material world for you, divine feminines, to help you move forward in your life, to help you break free. Good news, and look at that, your ship's coming in. Ancient knowledge being unlocked. Finally, everything's coming together. The Three of Wands, divine collaboration. So you're moving out of this Three of Swords, hurtful energy, and finding stability in the material world by taking charge of your life. A lot of spiritual growth, expansion, trusting in divine timing. I do feel like the stars are aligning for this. I really, I really do. I'm going to move these over just a little. Okay, what about for the masculine? Look at that. Six of Cups. Love, soulmate love. Reminiscing about love, reflecting on love and the divine feminine. You see that? How loving and generous and kind and unconditional 
the love is from the divine feminine, that's what the masculines are focused on. That's what's transforming, you see, is bringing love into it. Their emotions, their heart space. They want the love. And the feminine has so much love to offer and they know. This is someone from your past coming in. This is could be a masculine from your past, a past life recognition. Someone from childhood, but there's love. Transforming the way that they're looking at love and the way that they're looking at the feminine. And look, you can't make this up. Divine counterparts come out. You don't have to be a fire sign to for this to be true for you. This is whenever the same the card of the same suit comes out, the king and queen. See, the masculine is thinking about the divine feminine, the sexy, beautiful, open, psychic, I mean, just creative sensual, sexual, feminine. I mean, wow, is there a lot of passion between and a lot of love. So what's transforming for the masculine is I want the love. I want the passion. I want the fire. I'm so sick of this stale and stagnant life that I've been in and sacrificing and, you know, giving to people who didn't appreciate me. But my divine feminine appreciates me and she's calling me home. She's shining her light and I hear the call. You see that? I hear the call of the sacred lovers. I mean, wow, that's beautiful. And look at that. The tower comes in for the masculine too. Yeah, clearing away this completion, the world. The masculine is ready for this whole new life, for this transformation of bringing the shadows into the light. See that? Bringing the shadows, what hasn't been working out, clearing it away just like the feminine and bringing things into the light, into balance. Finding that stability for this new world. But things need to be cleared away right in order for these new beginnings so that's what's happening for the masculine is they're clearing away things that aren't serving them to make way for this passionate beautiful love and union wow okay um, we're gonna do it the same way the bottom of the deck I'm gonna show you not too far under that is the Sun so that's the happiest card but these are the cards so this is what's transforming the four of cups coulda, shoulda, woulda, wallowing, boredom, discontentment. What did I say? It comes right under that four of wands. Both of you, if you've been in situations, relationships, or perhaps you're alone and you're bored and you feel stuck and you're like, I want more. I want passion. I want love. I want desire. I want sensuality. You know, I want to connect with someone on all levels. That's what's changing. Coming out of this energy and taking that Ace of Cups that the universe always offers with the Four of Cups, finding the stability within and, and changing things. New beginnings here. Look at that. Then you get, then you get, re well, let's see. So we'll do it this way. Then the Wheel of Fortune, okay, comes under the Fool. Taking that leap of faith, getting the wheel turning. Again, balancing the shadows and light. Ending one karmic cycle so that you can have this new cycle of new beginnings, of wish fulfillment. Seeing the lighter side of life is going to help you get this wheel turning forward. The time is now. And then you have hope and reflection with the Seven of Swords, learning the lessons, no, no longer fighting, no longer being deceptive, no longer allowing others to deceive you. There's healing here. This is what's happening. It's getting that wheel turning, communicating in a different way, growing spiritually with the Seven and moving forward. Finding peace in your headspace. And heart space okay that's what's transforming is coming out of the stuck energy coming out of the bothersome energy the foolish energy um, and and moving on all right let's see with the terror the tarot of sexual magic what's manifesting What does the feminine wish to manifest in this sacred union? Any messages to the masculine from the feminine? I want new beginnings. I'm manifesting new beginnings. I am the master of my reality. I have everything I need and I'm focused on you, my sacred, sexy, strong masculine. I want to feel the fire. I want to feel the magic. I want to communicate the way that I feel. I want to tell you. I want to show you. Oh, God, I want to be with you. <laughs> That's what I feel. 
Mas, see all that like just sexiness and the king of wands to me is super sexy and like just dynamic and all of that look at that magician and the ace of swords yeah the feminine's like i'm take i'm gonna take control of you i'm gonna please you i'm gonna tease you i'm gonna tell you what my truth is and my truth is that i want you and only you and i want these new beginnings and i'm gonna get them so the feminine's like i got this see self-esteem freeing herself no longer feeling trapped by what society says or what your family says you should be. Dressing the way you want. Taking charge. Going after it. Going after this. <laughs> I feel like the feminine is ready to go for it. New, brand new beginnings. I am manifesting brand new beginnings in communication. And uh, yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my. <laughs> the queen of swords. Yeah. Talk about communication. Look, the magician's holding the sword. The big old sword of truth is here with the ace of swords. So there's a lot of clarity. The, the feminine is clear on what the feminine wants. I want it. I'm opening to you. I'm envisioning you. I've been hurt in the past, but I'm ready. I'm ready for newness. I'm ready for a divine collaboration. And I'm opening to this connection. So feeling balanced in the head and the heart and open. I'm ready to speak my truth to you, my sacred masculine. I'm ready. I'm ready for this communication. So the feminine is calling in the communication, masculines, in case you're wondering, it's time to communicate. <laughs> and what about for the masculine? What's the masculine wanting to say? And um, what I feel uh, from, oh, there's a lot of passion with that Knight of Wands, but these three decided to fall out. I feel for the feminine. The feminine has a lot of... Um, beautiful sensual creative desires that she'd like role playing to play out and she's ready to play them out with you masculine so are you ready <laughs> and this is how the masculine is viewing the feminine right now as the queen as the beautiful sacred empress in the physical when you know your worth and you stand in your power feminines and you set those healthy boundaries set yourself free and you know how beautiful and wonderful you are and you allow yourself to just be you abundance is coming so the masculine is manifesting abundance with this queen i want to kiss you from head to toe i want to take care of you and nurture you because you do you do that for me so feeling a strong desire to really connect with the feminine and take care of her provide for her look at this yeah baby i feel it i feel the flame i know who you are to me you are everything to me. I'm ready to birth this new cycle. I want the new beginnings too. And I just want to lay with you because you're so beautiful to me. But there's a strong sexual desire here. It's, it's very strong. So this could literally mean that you're going to have babies if that's rebirth. You see death, rebirth. Um, or it's just signifying a new cycle for this connection. Very passionate, see? Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, all this love, <laughs> lots of passion. And look at that, the Queen of Cups. So the masculine is saying, I see you feminine as everything. You're everything to me. You're stable. You're beautiful. You're creative. You're passionate. You're spiritual. You're so open and loving and generous and kind. I just, wow. I just want to be close to your heart. I just want to hear your heartbeat. I just want to be near you. I just want to stare at you. I just want to just revel in all that you are. Wow. The love, I'm telling you, it's all about the love now. The masculine's finally, finally realizing that. Oh my God, you guys. And I told you I saw the sun in the other deck. Yeah, this is everything. The masculine's saying, you're everything to me. You're my happiness. You're my joy. You bring so much light to my world, so much abundance and prosperity by just being you. And I'm telling you, the connection is strong and it's deep and it's spiritual, and it's loving, and it's generous, and it's kind, and damn, damn is all I gotta say. <laughs> there is so much passion in this union. The masculine has so much passion for you, feminine. So much passion, and so much love, and adoration, and just, I mean, mesmerized by you, is what I feel. And so the underlying energy here yeah, here, I said take these four. So there's choices and there's decisions being made. So what I feel like the masculine is saying is I'm coming towards you. Just keep shining that light. See that star? Wish upon a star. The stars align. I'm, I, I can't, like I have to be with you. So 
feeling the magnetic pull and you see this green energy with the open heart but the feminine set the healthy boundaries if you're going to come towards me you need to come towards me in fullness this connection is moving on in a, in a healthier direction out of the battle out of the toxicity going on a vacation together literally one person might be moving traveling you may be traveling to see one another when things op really open up and this is you just moving on you're moving on making the decision to move towards peace and here we go another a little pause like there's a little pause before all of this happens pause and reflect and what the masculine is reflecting on is my god this divine feminine is everything i've ever wanted the love the stability the good mother figure uh gets things done puts in the work very spiritual but damn a little kinkiness you know fills my every desire and the decision is made i want to be with you i want to be with someone who fulfills me in every way not just one way um every way and that's where i feel like it's things are changing and then look here comes the king another counterpart coming through saying yeah i'm pushing away everything that doesn't serve me i'm getting real with myself this can be a person, a relationship that we talked about earlier. This could be a codependency, an addiction, a belief system. It doesn't have to be a person. But the masculine is saying, I'm really reflecting now. I'm, I'm getting ready to communicate. Maybe perhaps the masculine has been silent and not communicating. So the masculine's getting ready to communicate here. That's what the decision is. I want to communicate. I want to come forward. I want to make this real, right, with my everything empress, my queen. And right under that is the um, the Nine of Pentacles, so breaking free, independence, finding their financial independence. I feel like the feminine feels good in her body, really working on herself. She's got the golden pentacle, feeling good, independent freedom, right? And the masculine's like, yeah, I'm setting myself free too because I want this. So two very free, good on their own, independent people coming together. That's what I feel, always feel with this card. So things are changing. Things are changing and they're manifesting in this union. And I feel in a beautiful way, decisions finally being made, new beginnings across the board. You get the magician, you get the ace of swords, you get the ace of wands over here, the sun, the happiest card in the deck. Let's just put this right here so you can see that. This is the happiest card in the deck. So things are changing, moving towards abundance, moving towards love, moving towards joy, moving towards the connection instead of away from it or feeling so stuck in it. There may be a little pause still while people heal and for this rebirth, but I do feel like it's coming. Things are being completed here. And the tower to me is like spirit saying, listen, if you're not going to do it on your own, I'm going to clear away this energy for you. So during this time period, the next four to five weeks, whenever you listen, this is how it's transforming. This is how you intended it to be. We all have free will, but this is how you intended it to be. So by you focusing on you and doing whatever you need to do, you'll be the divine mirror for your sacred lover to do the same. The feminine is pointing the masculine in the right direction, and the masculine is listening to the call. We're going to get some final pieces of advice here for the feminine in this situation. Assess, observe, hold your vision, get that higher mind, lighter side of life perspective. Like you're almost there, the nine. That's like ending things that aren't serving you, rising above, moving on, assessing the situation. Peace. I feel like a lot of peace when you do this, when you rise up out of the darkness what else for the feminine surrender so spirit just wants you to surrender to let go to let the tower fall to open your arms and your heart to love to new beginnings to the life that you desire to spiritual growth to surrender and 26 is an eight and 8-8 eight, eight is the lion's gate we're in the lion's gate energy right now and it peaks on 8-8 eight, eight. so I do feel like Things are shifting in such a beautiful way. When you surrender and you let go and you trust the higher mind perspective, it all comes together. 
What about for the masculine? Look at that, an eight. A super moon attraction. Masculines, by you clearing away what's not serving you, and you let the old ways die, the old self die, it's time for that rebirth, and you be of best of service to yourself and others around you, you are attracting everything you've wanted. You're attracting abundance. You're attracting love. You're attracting spiritual growth. You're just, you're attracting it all. Balance and stability. 44 is a master number, leveling up, manifesting your dreams. So you are attracting this to you. And look at this. This to me is another surrender card. And look, it's a nine. You both get an eight and a nine. Look how you're mirroring one another number wise. Stepping into your power with eight, personal power. Assessing things, growing, expanding spiritually, ending what's not serving you for these new beginnings. And look, surrender. Look, this looks like surrender as well. So the feminine is surrendering to the masculine, to this connection, and the masculine surrendering to the feminine. Look, pleasure, joy, happiness, everything you've ever wanted, letting go, freedom, the butterflies, birthing a new cycle. Wow. That's pretty incredible, you guys. That's incredible energy. And look how you're mirroring one another. And what about for the connection? Just a little, a couple, one or two more. Oh, wow, okay. So spirit really wants you to let go of resistance. Allow yourself to grow. Allow this connection to grow. Do not hold on to the past hurt and pain and whatever didn't work out. Uh, 25 is a seven. This is about learning your lessons integrating all that you know because look at all this new life that's birthing out like I said spirits making it happen anyway so when you open up oh my god it's really going to blossom and bloom perhaps you or your person's been resisting it but I feel like the resistance is being let go of that's what I'm really feeling here and boundaries okay so setting those healthy boundaries uh, getting, removing yourself from the self-imposed limitations, allowing yourself to expand and grow freedom, right? Rebirth. This is the rebirth where you felt trapped and stuck and bored and stifled. There's new life. You see that, that little white flower. There's new life growing. Even when you resist, even when there's challenge and contrast, look at the new life and look at the growth. You are growing. This connection is helping you grow. That's the point. It's not meant to be unicorns and, and rainbows all the time. I mean, you know, that'd be nice. And there is some of that in there. That's what you're manifesting more of now. But it's meant to help you grow. It's meant to help you. This connection is meant to help you push out of old paradigms, to expand, to trust in, in divine timing. Allow yourself to blossom into the person that you were meant to be. Setting healthy boundaries with other people that have been holding you back. Okay? Setting those boundaries, saying, no, this life is for me. And she's, you know, naked in there. So this is birthing this new cycle, the new you, the newness in this connection, growth and beauty in this connection. No longer resisting it. No longer guarding your heart, opening up to it. That's the point. And look at this, the bottom. Action. Taking action towards your dreams. There's action. There's communication. Some, there's action being taken. There's something changing. Opening up. Look, it looks like surrender. Opening up to the sacred, divine dance of the lovers. Wow, that's really beautiful energy, okay? So set yourself free. Beauty, blessings, peace, and harmony are coming into this connection. I love and appreciate you all. Reach out to me anytime. I'm here for you.